What's up guys and welcome back to the AP YouTube channel. So in today's video I'm going to give you guys an update on the E30 project. So a lot of things have changed uh, since the last video. I picked up a new engine for the car. So instead of going with the 2.8 12 valve engine that I had uh, from a previous uh, car, uh, I decided to pick up this uh, 3.2 engine from a uh, Touareg. Uh, the actual Touareg itself uh, was on sale because it had a blown transmission so I picked it up, took the engine out and I'll be using that for the project. Uh, the idea behind the move is that when I started the project I was supposed to go with the 12 valve and go with the turbo. Uh, finally to start the project I said I decided to start with naturally aspirated and then we'll see to go force induction afterwards. So before I start uh, doing the mock-up with the new engine gonna have to tear everything down and get everything ready to get back to where I was with the 12 valve. So let's start with that. Other than the engine, I'm also gonna be using the ECU and the complete engine harness from the Touareg. All the harness needs to be unplugged and completely removed from the rain tray. I will also be keeping all the OEM connectors and trying to reuse the fuse box. This will make the swap a lot easier. On the Touareg since the engine is... I'm going to keep the bell housing from the Touareg since it has all the correct measurements for the starter and the engine. That way I can do a mock-up. In order to complete the removal of the engine harness, I need to remove the intake manifold and other parts around the engine. Okay, so after a little vacuuming, uh, next step is going to be to remove the engine harness. Uh, I won't be using any of it since I got all the harness from the Touareg. Uh, so from the inside, I'll just have to disconnect it and then pull it out. Uh, probably pull out the ECU also. Um, and then the body harness. To remove the engine harness, you need to unclip it from the ECU that is in the glove box. Then I can pull the harness out of the car and get rid of it. So a little degreaser is going to help remove some of the dirt. This will all be repainted at the end of the swap, but for now, at least it's a little bit cleaner and make it easier to work on. Now that everything has been cleaned off, it's time to remove the rest of the parts that are in the engine bay. So I'll be taking out the subframe and the steering rack. This will give me all the room I need to place the engine at the best spot. And then I can reinstall parts one by one and modifying them if needed. So engine mounts will need to be fabricated at a new spot with the new subframe. Once everything is disassembled, I can give it a good pressure wash to remove most of the grime before I sandblast everything. As you can see, the adapter plate will need some modification. Okay, so now that everything is disassembled, it's time to put the engine back in the car. Uh, my plans have changed from what I was thinking of doing at first. Uh, instead of modifying the oil pickup, uh, I rather just 
cut up the subframe and modify it since I'm gonna need to modify it anyway. Uh, so the plan is to push the engine as far back as I can. Let's put the engine in and let's see if it fits better or worse uh, than the 12 valve. So of course I will try to put the engine as far back as possible. I'm trying to keep the OEM transmission position to limit uh, shifter linkage and drive shaft modifications. This will require the removal of many parts. Like as you can see, the brake booster will need to be removed. So I guess I'll be fitting a brake booster delete kit. Also the coolant pipe that goes to the rear of the engine does not have enough room. So in order to remove it, I'll need to remove the exhaust manifolds from the engine. It's finally in. So after all that work, all those parts being removed to get some space, it is finally in. So my, my Touareg bell housing that I cut down to make a temporary adapter plate shows me that my inch and a half that I'm gonna have here, so that gives me enough room. I'm gonna need to cut up a little bit more for the sensors in the back. Might have to change the wiring up. Uh, of course, all the coolant lines will need to be custom, so even the Touareg ones uh, don't fit, there's not enough room. So there it is, that's gonna be his final spot. Uh, I'm probably gonna give it a little bit of an angle towards the driver's side, uh, like it would be stock uh, in a Volkswagen, so I'm probably gonna give it a 10 degrees to give me some more clearance on the bottom for the pickup. So that's gonna be next. So get the engine out of there, uh, clean it, start to draw the adapter plate, get that done. I'm gonna be able to get the flywheel done since I'm, I confirmed my adapter plate thickness. So yeah, so I can order a lot of parts and get it rolling. So that's gonna be it for today's video. So thanks for watching guys and see you next time.